Hello everyone. This is the daily devotional video for September 10th, 2017. Our passage for today is in the book of Romans, chapter 6, reading verses 16 through 19. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one's slaves whom you obey? whether of sin to death or of obedience to righteousness. But God be thanked that though you were slaves of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form a doctrine to which you were delivered. And having been set free from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. I speak in human terms because of the weakness of your flesh. For just as you presented your members as slaves of, unclean, of uncleanness and of lawlessness, leading to more lawlessness, so now present your members as slaves of righteousness for holiness. The title for today's devotional is Avoiding Enslavement. Okay. A physical prison is built brick by brick. Similarly, a spiritual prison can be erected one sin at a time without a believer noticing. Excuse <coughs> me. <coughs> Ensnarement happens slowly, beginning with a thought. Over time, unless the thought is eradicated, contemplation turns to action. With Satan falsely promising happiness as a reward for giving in to temptation, sin gains strength through repetition until our conscience is finally overpowered. One day we discover the devil holds our will in bondage. But we can avoid spiritual chains. Our first step is to acknowledge two basic truths. All sin enslaves and bondage begins in the mind. We cannot maintain a healthy relationship with the Lord while indulging sin. That statement is so powerful. I'm going to read it again. We cannot maintain a healthy relationship with the Lord while indulging sin. When a wrong thought creeps into our consciousness, we have the choice to expel it or entertain it. Through the strength of the Holy Spirit, every believer possesses the power to change his or her mind. A strong antidote to temptation is a long-term view of disobedient behavior. A second step then is to ask ourselves, is the pleasure of this sin worth the consequences of enslavement? Inevitably, the answer is no. What alcoholic would claim that his next drink is worth the powerlessness he feels against the bottle? Third, we order our life according to scripture. That is, we make the choice to place ourselves in bondage to the Father because we find true freedom in Him. His word trains us to recognize sin and excises wrongdoing from our heart. Ask God to speak to the Bible today and see what he reveals about your life. Wow. The one thing that that is just so powerful to me and is so true. I'm going to see if I can find it here. I'm going to try and read it again. Um, and snare it happens slowly, beginning with a thought. Over time, unless the thought is eradicated, contemplation turns to action. That's why I've always thought it's so important to control what you think about. 
what you allow your mind to focus on. Because ensnarement begins with a thought. Begins with thinking about a sin or something that you are thinking about doing or maybe wondering about doing. Because the devil says, oh, no one's going to know you ever did this. And no one's going to find out. And it's so much fun. And you see how happy these people are for doing this, this, this sin. And, it's, I mean, you know God's going to forgive you for it. I mean, come on. It all begins with a thought in your head. It's so important to control what we allow our mind to focus on. Because that's where it all starts in the mind. If you, can, if you allow God to control your mind and ask Him to help you keep your thoughts on the, on the right things, then the ensnarement won't happen at all. But you have to let God control your mind and you have to control your mind and really you know be careful what you let yourself focus on and what you let yourself think about it's so important i love you guys have an awesome day and i hope to see you back here again tomorrow